cyclopropane. Okay, so each of those carbons has two hydrogens. I will only show those two hydrogens on that carbon on the right of the cyclopropane. Reacts with molecular chlorine. Molecular chlorine is Cl2. Each chlorine has three lone pairs around it. You need light or heat. And what will happen is one of the two H's gets replaced by a Cl. And the H that was removed from cyclopropane is now with the other Cl to form HCl. All right, let's do the steps. Step one is where we produce our chlorine radical. So Cl2 When you irradiate with visible light or UV light, what happens is what happens is that their bond between the two CLs, it gets cleaved. So that half of the bond goes to the right chlorine and the other half of the bond goes to the left chlorine. And what you get is this. This is the one on the left. And this is the one on the right. So it's it's a chlorine radical. It's neutral, but it's very reactive because you have an unpaired electron. Step two. One of the one of the two chlorine radicals produced in step one reacts with the cyclopropane in this manner. Plus Cl. Okay, this is what happens. Half of that bond there, representing one electron, gets with that lone electron on the Cl. And the other half of that bond carbon-hydrogen bond goes to the carbon as a lone electron. And this is what you get. H plus HCl. So now that carbon on the right is now the radical in the the radical chlorine is now HCl. That takes us to step three. Step three. That there cyclopropane with the radical carbon reacts with another molecule of molecular chlorine. So that their lone electron gets with gets with half of that bond to form a covalent bond. The other half of that CLCL bond goes to the right chlorine as a lone electron. And now we have formed our chlorocyclopropane in the process we produce another chlorine radical. And that chlorine radical gets back to step two. So that there, this there is that chlorine radical. It reacts with another molecule of cyclopropane and you produce the carbon radical and the carbon radical reacts with another molecule of 
chlorine and then you produce another another molecule of the product and you produce another chlorine radical and the cycle repeats itself until you have uh, some kind of a termination mechanism or until the the uh, reactants are all finished used up.